The students are demanding for the implementation of the provisions of the law establishing the institution, particularly as it concerns funding. The students alleged that the institution has been neglected. A staff of the institution, Arnold Ojugo, and the leadership of the school student union body shed more light on their grievances. The reason for why we are actually gathered here today is because of the fact that the implementation was supposed to have taken off. But as it is today, you can see everybody clamoring, asking for that implementation to take place. Why? Because Fupri's bill was signed. Two weeks after that, the Northeast Development Commission bill was also signed. But it will surprise you to note that the Northeast Development Bill was earmarked with 45 billion in this dispensation, with this 2018 appropriation bill, where Fupri has been given nothing. All we are asking is, what we are even asking is just a little above 11 billion. Which compared to 45 billion, that is too much. So what we're asking, what we're asking for is not too much. Let, it, let me also tell you that uh, in, in early last year, the federal government had actually earmarked that uh, oil will go between 30, 30, 36 to 38 dollars per barrel. As it is right now, you and I know that oil has gone above 72 dollars. With that, federal government has been able to earmark over 152 billion. It will also surprise you to know that today that money has been shared between the MDAs and National Assembly without any recourse to Fupri. Fupri has been forgotten. Meanwhile, don't forget. I, I want to make it very clear that we are in a very democratic government. Yes. And as such, the, the freedom of expression is allowed. Yes, sir. And the will of the people can never be jeopardized. Yes, sir. If President Muhammadu Buhari, if Senator Bukola Saraki, yes, who refused to grant our prayers, yes, then we are going to take this beyond this level. We are not lazy. We are Security personnel were later drafted to the scene after several hours to restore normalcy. The University of Petroleum Resources was established in 2007 by former President Lucia Gombasunjo to train manpower for the oil and gas sector.